What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another finger. How you doing? Leave it in the comment section below. Let a sister know how you're doing, how you're doing. Baby, let me tell you, let me tell you. Listen, 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 listen. Calm down. Calm down. Baby, there's only one more day left to scoop. One more day. Scoop. Scoop. Things have been a little chaotic, interesting, heated, fun, frustrating, irritating, suffocating, deliberating, confiscating, participating. Yes, it was all of that in a bag of chips because what we did, we had our Shark Tank business pitches or product pitch for companies that the kids made up and it's been I'm so disappointed I did not take any photos or videos of my little setup that I had in the library I'm ooh, it was just intense 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 and kids and kids and kids oh my gosh and then I allowed a few students to be on the panel baby and they had observed and they had experienced the panelists and so I let about three four students do it hunty hunty they did the thing. They were good. I'm like, y'all need to come back next year and be on the panel. Yes, yes. Some kids miss classes. <laughs> I was like, your teacher know you here? You know what? Two at that time, two days left of school. I was like, mm, you gotta work that out, honey, because I'm not giving you a pass. <laughs> but it is one more day left of school. Honestly, I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad because I, 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 the certain situations were frustrating, but I did enjoy the kids. And plus, I don't do anything in the summertime, and I have trainings all of June, and then I already started a training. I'm already behind with that. I feel like one of the students <laughs> just overwhelmed <laughs> because. It was just poor, poor planning on my behalf. I had no idea that the program was going to be so intense out the gate. I, I had no clue. And it, it's just, it, it's overwhelming with Sydney's um, grad party, graduation, and then trying to get all my grades in. I had over, over 600 grades to put in. I have about another 100 left. We have to upload grades tomorrow. Who has time for the program? I, I don't. So I emailed the late. I said, Miss, I got too much going on. It was a very, very poor decision on my behalf. I had no clue, and I do not recommend it at all going forward. And I'm going to voice my opinion, especially at the end of the school year. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm getting ready to go do a little, <laughs> a little roll around the block before the bell rings and before all the kids come. Oh. Look at, look at this, this. I didn't know what to wear, so I settled on this. I don't know, some of you know that I made this. But I didn't get hats that were deep enough, so it keeps slipping off my head. This is one of my favorites. This is my favorite. All right, so this is what I'm doing. The bed not had these skates on since last year it's just been an intense year i'm ready for next year well i'm preparing for next year i don't know what to expect what's to come and every year i say i'm gonna be a little more consistent i'm gonna be consistent oh, oh. and then it doesn't happen only thing i am consistent with you do nothing you get nothing and I don't believe in you did nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing. You did zero and you deserve a 50. Why? If I don't come to work, I get zero. I get fired. So I think, I strongly believe, this is my opinion. You can believe whatever you want. We can agree to disagree. It's really setting the kids up that they don't have to do much in order to get something. 
And that's not how life works. You don't go to your job, whether it's at Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, holding a sign. If you don't go, you don't get paid. You don't go, you get fired. You don't go, you can't pay your bills. You don't go, you can't do a lot of things that you want to do. You can't buy gas and put it in your car because you don't have a paycheck. What are we teaching them? Even, even with letting kids move on to the next grade. Mm -mm. You put no effort in. You didn't meet, you didn't master any of the skills, but we're going to just move you on anyway, just because we, we're concerned about your emotional stability and all that. You should have thought about that while you were in school. Now I can see if you tried and you hustle, but I think this is my opinion. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, so we still reward you by moving on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I personally don't agree with that. So here's the kicker. So all the stuff that teachers go through, we, we're teaching hard. We're doing what we can. We're doing, we're coming to work every day. We're teaching lessons. We're sweating. We do stuff before work. We do stuff on weekends. We do stuff during work. We do stuff after work. Stay late, 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 late. Do all this grading and preaching and teaching and giving our hearts and so. And a kid does nothing and you still pass them along. So here's the thing. What's the point in doing all of that? Because what we're doing is not validated anyway. If you're just going to bypass us, not pay attention to us, and just do what you want anyway, and then send them right along. That does, I, I was thinking that I'm like, why are we doing this then? Because no matter what we do, and you know, we try to, you know, hold firm to, you know, you're going to learn this, you got to learn. And they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. You're going to get, you're going to, you're going to go along anyway. I, I, I don't understand it. So we're so sensitive to their emotions, their emotions. But they didn't care. Some parents didn't care. But we're just going to pass them along and they didn't, they didn't learn any of the skills or try and pass them along so they're further behind. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. <sighs> Nevertheless, even though, even if that may be the system, I'm still going to do my part because I know my heart, I know my goals and my vision. I'm not going to change that and downplay my expectations to meet their little ones. No, my ex my expectations are still going to be here and I'm still going to hold your feet to the fire because why should I change and come down to your level to make everybody happy? Then there's no growth. Well, if you're not paying attention, you're not, you, you're not invested, there ain't going to be no growth anyway. But anyway, nevertheless, but your girl, your girl, not that it matters and this does not grade the whole student. No, it does not. But your girl got that 85% passing rate on a state standardized test. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I may hold your feet to fight. You're going to learn something. You're going to learn something. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me take a stroll around the school and get my little skate on, okay? All right. Now it's time to go around the school. Let me do one lap. You are the strength, girl. Okay. Oh. Oh, you know what? Listen, listen, listen. I just found out because sometimes I never know how they're gonna act when I wear a hat. 
So I try to come up with a theme for the day. And baby, guess what? So this whole week has been a theme. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, that's when you don't read your emails, okay? So someone, I was like, oh, you look nice and comfy today. She was like, yeah, I'm a housewife. I was like, okay, do you, girl? Still not clicking, still not clicking. Then I see another teacher with a big, huge wrestler belt or whatever kind of belt. And I was like, uh, she said, today is dress as, dress as the career you want. I was like, oh, okay, I'm good then. Boom, I'm good. So what career am I dressed for? Uh, uh, help me out. Uh, roller derby. Roller derby, where you going? Roller derby, that's where I'm headed. Roller derby, around and round. Roller derby, you better not hit the ground. Ground, ground, ground.